Like in South Fulton, the fear of retribution from talking to police is also a huge factor in the cold case murder of an 18-year-old boy in Cobb County. Back in 2001, Gavin Williams was killed a stone's throw away from Osborne High School in Marietta, stabbed 47 times on a walking trail used by students, children, and families. 16 years later, his unsolved murder still haunts his family. He was a friendly person, you know. He made friends quicker than I did. Um, I guess you could say he didn't know no stranger. It hurts. And I try not to think about it too much. And now Cobb County police are taking a new look at the case, hoping that since so much time has passed, witnesses too scared to talk back then will do the right thing now. I went back to the scene of the crime with the retired and current Cobb County homicide detectives to follow the clues. He was seen that Saturday. One person saw him around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Another person saw him around 6.15 in the evening. And I believe there was even another person that around 9 o'clock p.m. Another lady that was coming home that evening, she passed someone coming from the woods, but I don't believe it was the victim, Gavin. I believe it was the perpetrator. About what time? Quarter till 12. She was coming home Saturday night before Sunday morning. Someone by themselves? Yes. Did she notice anything about that person? Or they, they were moving quickly? They were wanted, didn't want to be seen? Uh, a little bit of both. He, a young black male, and he had a beige hat on like a Gilligan's hat. Right. Have you ever heard of the Gilligan's beige hat? He had that type hat on. And he came very quickly out of the woods around the building when she was trying to get into her apartment. And it startled her. So he's seen just before midnight when do they find his body? His body's found at 4 o'clock on Sunday afternoon, before the memorial holiday on Monday. And who is, who, I mean, under what circumstances did, did someone find him? Was, was someone looking for him or? No, there was a Hispanic lady that had a, a four or five small children. It's a messy, messy scene, a violent scene, right. physical contact. They're, they're in contact with each other. Right. DNA, blood, anything? The blood that his pockets of his jeans were turned inside out. The what does blood that tell you? That either they made him pull his pockets out to show what he had in his pockets. We tend to go towards there could have been two, one person on one side trying to cut him and another person on the other side trying to cut him. So it could be two different weapons that were used on him? Could be, yes. Some of the wounds on one side are hesitation wounds, like someone that's stabbing you but doesn't really want to hurt you. On the other side, the person stabbing him is angry and penetrating him deep. How many stab the, wounds are we talking about? 47, here? I believe. Most of the people that knew or heard anything were from the ages of 10 till about 22, and they were all very much afraid. They were all Nobody terrified. wanted to say anything. They were not gonna talk. Help solve the crime. If you know anything, call Cobb County's Cold Case Squad. The number's here on the screen for you, 770-528-3032. It's also posted on 11alive.com.